My understanding is this is an actual formality. There is a formal process that the Patriots have to go to, go through, excuse me, to elevate Elliott Wolf to be their primary football executive. I don't believe the title he'll get eventually is general manager. That's not a title that the Crafts have handed out since they've owned the team. But the expectation is in league circles and people I've spoken to just in the last few hours is that Elliott Wolf will get the job. I would be stunned if he doesn't get the job. He is the overwhelming favorite. So they have to go through this. They have to check this box to be able to elevate him to that position and name him that primary football executive. And that's what they're doing right now, Tom. Short of some kind of crime, I think he's going to get the job. <laughs> I mean, this committed by Elliott Wolf, because to me, you cannot execute a draft in which you allow him to have, say, over the third overall pick, the rest of the draft, free agency, and then say, you know what, that was a mistake. Let's take Joe Blow over here. To me, it is a formality. And, you know, we talked to Robert Kraft while we were at the Super Bowl, and he indicated, look, we're, we're going to open this up. And at that juncture, I said, well, why would you do that? Why would you go through that? This is kind of the Jets, isn't it? If you go in June or July and decide then to, he goes, well, what would you do? So to me, it was more they understood that they had to do it, but they weren't going to go as far as to say, we're just doing this to check boxes. But I think that's, in essence, what it is. Yeah, and I'll just say this, too, from talking to people around the league. I uh, just did a story this weekend about the draft. But talking to all these different people, Elliot's reputation is outstanding. And a lot of people are like, it's about time he's getting this opportunity. And by and large, they think he's done a good job with what he's been given to work with thus far.